Hi, I'm Moody. I'm feeling moody and it's time for a moon message. Today's moon is in the phase of a waning crescent phase under the astrological sign of Libra. This reading is for Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and North Node, Leo. Holy Spirit, what is the message for Leo, the end of October? Leo, what's the message for Leo, the end of October? Holy Spirit, Angel Guide, Spirit Guides, what is the message, Holy Spirit? Oh, there's a lot. Mm. Okay. I know it's this card. And it's that card. And we're going to take the bottom card. Yes. Hmm. That's it. Okay. Okay. Leo. There's something going on with you that needs to be released. Something, someone, somebody may need to release you. You know, energy can be transferable. But there's a release that needs to happen. Why? Because this is under a waning crescent energy. And you have to surrender to the fact that you have to release Leo. Or Leo, you have to surrender to the fact that you have to release somebody else. Somebody needs to be released. And by releasing this situation or this person, your self-esteem is going to get an immediate boost. You're going to understand why you had to release them. Because the change after you release is going to be evident. It's going to be like, wow, why didn't I do this sooner? Somebody is saying, you know, why did I hold on to this for so long? Because you're going to start to feel good. Full moon in Virgo. Virgo could be involved. But you're going to start to feel good about yourself. Your esteem is going to rise, right? And, you know, all of that, this transition, you're going through a transformation, a change. Just by releasing this, you get instant gratification, instant acknowledgement, abundance. It's automatic. You just rise. Yeah, you're going to be putting forward the work, hard work, and it's going to pay off of a Capricorn to even be involved. Leo the end of October. Tell me what Leo needs to release the end of October under the waning crescent moon. What does Leo need to release? Hmm. One more card. Bottom card. Ooh. There's somebody who feels very sad. They're anxious. They can't sleep. Something has them up at night. Whew. They have insomnia. I mean, they cannot sleep. It's like, even if they do sleep, they may sleep just for a few hours and then they're up thinking about this again. It has something to do with love. Somebody that they love very deeply there's been death, endings, uh, destruction, hurt regarding this love. Something about this love that has somebody up all night. They just need to release whatever they are anxious. Whatever has them, they know what they've done. Okay, spirit. They know what they've done. And somebody knows what they've done to Leo and they better release it. They better because right now their self-esteem is not as high as it could be. They're not feeling as good as they should be feeling. They're not feeling good about something that they're thinking about, something they've done. They're not feeling good about it. But Spirit is saying this is the time to bring it to an end. This is a major arcana here. And this is about bringing things to an end so that things can transform. Mm. This death card is all about changing something with a love. Something that you know is not right because you're all in your head about it. 
you can't stop thinking about it. So they know something's wrong. Something's not right. Okay. So as soon as you let that go and release and bring something that's deadly to an end, instant, you get instant acknowledgement. Your self-esteem rises. It clearly rises. Um, you feel better. You feel better about yourself. You feel stable. Yeah, your whole existence changes. That's what Spirit is saying. Instantly. There's something Spirit wants you to release. Or somebody wants... Or Spirit wants somebody to release you. You Somebody's going to hear this message that needs to hear it. Some of you are going back and forth when it comes to doing the right thing. Um, now you have another major arcana of temperance. This is being patient. Patiently doing the right thing. See, she's not dripping or spilling any of the water because she's patiently transferring it back and forth. She's not rushing. Mm -hmm. She's taking control. She's in control. That's why nothing is spilling. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Spirit wants you to take control. Release, do bring an end to something that has you anxious anyway. Somebody's anxious over you. They need to bring an end to that. Take control. Focus on their self. Bring this light and clarity in. Realize that you are good enough. You are valuable. Um, you're a good person. Maybe somebody's fighting with that with the Two of Wands. And Spirit doesn't want you to fight over that anymore. There's such goodness inside of you. That's why they... Somebody's trying to hold on to you and that needs to let go of you. They're in love with you. There's somebody that the other person really loves them. And they may have done some stuff they're not really proud of. This has been going on for a long time. Somebody thinking about doing the right thing. Controlling the situation. Making a, a good decision. A truthful decision. Keep going back and forth on that. Should I or shouldn't I, Leo? Somebody's indecisive. Um, should I continue with this or should I continue with that? Mm, continue with this. The Ace of Swords. What is right? What is truthful? What is What spirit is telling you? Okay. Yeah, you have the Death Card and Temperance. And right now, that's the truth. Bring an end to something you know you should stop, you should release. Somebody has to release you. Control their cells. Bring control to this situation. Be patient. Know who you are. Goodness will come to you. You're a good person. If you doubted that, Spirit sees that you are good. And some things, your work is paying off, your hard work. Yes, continue with that. This is the truth. Two cards of truth, the Knight of Swords, the Ace of Swords. You're going to be hearing it. If in doubt, you will hear it. Mm hmm yeah, there's something here where the emperor is reversed. Things aren't going your way. That's why to bring this situation into control, to turn it around, to turn that emperor upright. What does Leo need to do? Holy Spirit, the end of October. These three, I'm taking them. The death card again. If you, if there was any doubt about you ending a situation, because this is you, or this is somebody over you, they are so they can't rest, um, because spirit already told them where this love is concerned, release, bring it to an end. But again, it continues, and until you release this, until they release you, they're gonna feel like this. Nothing that they do is going to work out. Mm. Why? Whenever spirit has to talk to us more than once to tell us temperance again, which is to control, control yourself. 
control the situation. Yeah, because it's getting out of control. When you're told twice to allow this to change, to allow spirit to take control, Ten of Wands, it's getting ugly. <laughs> It is, it is, but doing the right thing. Somebody's being called to do the right thing by Leo, a Leo, something. Yeah, because karma is here. This is all about you doing the right thing. You're going to reap what you sow. You have the Eight of Cups telling you to walk away. Again, you appear with the Strength card. It may take courage for you to do the right thing. Somebody may need some strength encouraged to do the right thing but in the end you're doing the right thing you're gonna get it you're gonna get what you give you're gonna get as good as you give there is a reciprocity here anything that you do good is gonna pay you off good is gonna be returned to you wow okay holy spirit what else for leo the end of october This release is for yourself. It's to turn the emperor upright. It's about self-healing. It's about a transformational change, too, with the death card twice and the emperor. Powerful change. Setting that emperor upright, using that power for goodness, for the right thing. Remind yourself that no one has it all, and it's better to celebrate others than to be envious of them. I don't know who that's for, Leo. You want people to celebrate you rather than be envious of you. Yeah, this, whatever you're being told to release, think about it. Think about it. Does it serve you? No, it doesn't any longer serve you. It no longer serves you. Tell me regarding love, what's the reading for, what's the outlook, the end of October for love concerning, look at that, your hard work is paying off, a new person is going to be capturing your attention, that's how it's going to pay off, see you were, something was going on with love that wasn't upright, it wasn't copacetic, it wasn't good, created issues. You got the death card twice. If you listen and bring this to an end, release it. Transformation. Look what you got waiting. Look what you have waiting. And some of you really want this. A love that is worth it. A love that's your payoff. Ooh, ooh. Yes. For all your hard work, you get a new love. Tell me more, spirit. One more card for Leo, the end of October regarding love. You release the old and it's replaced with something new. Mm. Look at that. Yes, yeah, something happened with this love in the past. It was unrequited love. Um, there wasn't enough of something to make it go forward. Or somebody... Somebody did something to show that they didn't want the love. They are, they're anxious. Somehow this love wasn't allowed. Something happened there. I don't know. But whatever happened, somebody does not feel good about what they did. And to allow this bad feeling to change, to transform, for this emperor to be upright, you have to control yourself, your actions, um, realize it's going to take some strength but realize that what you what you sow is what you're going to reap what you do is what you get that's the truth you have two aces of swords here and so by having the strength and the confidence to do what your intuition is telling you, a new cycle is here. It's a cycle in truth. You have nothing to hide. You're leaving this love that didn't work out and replacing it with some new love that can stand up to the light. Yes, you have two aces of swords. That's all about your payoff. Mm. 
you're going to be paid off for this hard work. Because whatever you're doing here is hard work. Spirit said, you show up. Two lions showing, you know, it takes a lot. This is taking a lot, but you're going to be rewarded. You have two cards of temperance here, you know, showing that it takes time, patience, and it takes you controlling self, the situation. You, you've got to do something here, Leo, to bring this into control. But the reward is high. You get new love. <laughs> and that's what you want. I'm feeling you want love at this time. What else, Spirit? Any other card regarding love for Leo, the end of October? Yes. Yeah, very soon you got to decide. Because you're here. Are you going to bring an end to this? You have to decide which way you're going to go. I think you're being asked. Um, this isn't the first time you've been asked, is what I'm trying to say. This, this question has been presented to you. This ending you've been told to end this before mm. there's something about not allowing love yeah you you this new love is like calling you though it's not there yet because some of you haven't completed the work but very soon it's coming very soon maybe the end of october beginning of november you know, this person is thinking of you. They're waiting for you. Mm. Even though they're not with you physically, you are with them in thought. Mm -hmm. This could be some twin flame stuff in the future coming to you. Yeah, surrender. Exactly. And that's what this waning crescent moon is all about. At times, we must surrender the old, all of this dead weight. The death card is telling you, end this toxic, controlling behavior when it comes to love. And then before you have to surrender the old way of thinking of doing before something new can enter. Let go and all will work out. Yeah. Boy, will it work out. You got something new, exciting. They're thinking of you this very moment. And you're thinking of them too, Leo. What else, Spirit? Whoa. Trust. Transformation occurs through acceptance. Yeah. You're going to allow this. I think you are. You're going to allow this temperance. That You're going to be patient. You're going to control the situation in a positive direction use your strength your influence leo you're going to accept this situation and by you accepting this situation that's going to bring in this transformation and then look you got the soulmate that's this new love you know that they're thinking of you you got this telepathy going on already and that's why i think it's the one this is a twin flame love up here. I'm just feeling it because it's new. And you've come out of something that has caused you to grow a lot of transformation. This was a big deal. And that's why it's hard work. It was hard work. And it's paying off in the terms of you meet your soulmate. You meet somebody new. This is happening very soon. The end of October is going to be here before you know it. So that's what I have for you, Leo. I hope you were able to identify with something that was said. If so, like, subscribe, hit the notification bell. Leave me a comment. Um, listen to the other readings for your other signs in your birth chart. Thank you to all of you who have given me or shown me love. By hitting the bell, leaving a comment, uh, subscribing, or just liking the video. And Leo, until the next moon phase, namaste.